if you want to call me a terrorist, I've got no problem with that. Um, but I would ask you, who is it that's terrified? Um, and if it's the bad guys that are terrified, um, I'm, I'm really super okay with that. If it's the average people out in the world, the people that we're trying to help, um, who, who are scared of us, I would ask them to, to educate themselves, to do some research on what it is we do, and, and, and lose that fear because we are fighting for the people. We are fighting, as Occupy likes to say, for the 99%. I think the general public is beginning to learn the value of information. Um, to give an example, for a very long time, nobody in the United States or the world were allowed to know the number of civilian casualties in Iraq and Afghanistan. Um, there, were, there were wild guesses. They were all over the ballpark figures. Until a young private, a young army private named Bradley Manning had the courage to steal that information from the U.S. government and release that to the world. And now we know that despite their smart munitions and all of their high technology, they have somehow managed to accidentally kill 150,000 civilians in two countries over 10 years. I think as these kinds of startling facts begin to sink into the public's mind, they begin to realize the value of information. And all they need to do is dig just a little bit deeper and, 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 and scratch the surface and they'll find us information activists who are risking everything, our lives, our freedom, everything, to obtain that information and get that to them. Anonymous is the art of indignation. Anonymous is the art of being one and yet being nothing. Anonymous is what happens when governments and corporations screw up too badly. It's the one percent, the people who are wrecking our planet, that really should be quite terrified. And if, if, if to them we're terrorists, um, then they probably got that part right.